Hi, everyone, and welcome to Detect Mask or No Mask with Portfolio and Machine Learning. I'm Lizzie Siegel. I'm a developer evangelist at Portfolio, uh, and I studied computer science at Bryn College. I prefer, I tend to write JavaScript and Python, but I have been seen writing Haskell and Swift, and I'm a big fan of Pikachu, hence Pikachu on the side. So today we'll be making and talking about how to make a mask detector with Twilio video. Uh, here we have a Twilio video application. You can see me and it asks, are you wearing a mask? And it will respond with no or yes and a uh, percentage confidence in that yes or no. So right now it's not confident I'm wearing a mask, put on the mask and it's more confident, 0.99, very, very specific. What will we be going over today? We'll be going over Intro to ML5.js, the machine learning library for JavaScript. And you could use this library to detect uh, and classify other things, like is someone holding a banana or wearing a hat? Wearing a hat, yes, no. Of course, as the number of positive COVID-19 cases are everywhere, mask wearing is coming back in vogue, hence the mask wearing, det mask detection. We're going over Twilio video, uh, training a machine learning model, saving and testing SID model. And if you ever want to follow along, uh, there is a GitHub repo and there is this blog post, which should be shared online. So what is ML5.js, you ask? ML5.js is a JavaScript library that lets developers like yourselves use machine learning, ML, algorithms and models in the browser. I love in the browser. Uh, it's, this library is built on top of TensorFlow.js, which does a lot of the heavy lifting. It does most of the low-level ML tasks, including using pre-trained models to detect human poses, uh, like is your arm or elbow at what location, X, Y, Z, uh, generate text, style an image with another image, compose music, very, very artsy, very fun, detect pitches of common English language, word relationships, and so much more, including image recognition, woo. So <clears throat> image recognition contains two popular tasks, classification and regression. Both the algorithms are used for prediction in machine learning and work with labeled data sets. The main difference between regression and classification algorithms is that regression algorithms are used to predict the continuous values such as price, salary, and age, and more and classification algorithms based to predict or to classify discrete values like male or female, true or false, spam or not spam, uh, hot dog, not hot dog, that's from Silicon Valley, the show. Uh, there is some overlap between algorithms for classification and regression. For example, uh, a regression algorithm may predict a discrete value but the discrete value in the form of an integer quantity. So this post uses, uh, this talk will go over ML5.js to explore the classification problem of image recognition. Given an input of an image, in this case, someone wearing or wearing not wearing a mask, the machine will classify the category mask or no mask of the image. So uh, we, to get started, we will need a Twilio video application and just like coming to serverless days, here's a promo code for Twilio credits so you don't need to use your money. Uh, you can send text messages, make a few phone calls, video calls like this and more. The code is serverless days 2021. And with your Twilio account, you'll need an account SID, API key SID and API key secret. You can generate them at links. They, uh, they'll be dropped in the chat can be found in your Twilio account console. And you'll also need the Twilio CLI. So this is serverless, the serverless application. Why host a server if you don't need to, if someone else can do it for you? Woo. So this is the very bare bones video application. Uh, from your perspective, you're the smaller uh, video feed on top above join room slash the leave room buttons. 
with this application. Uh, you can follow along on the README and the GitHub repo is online. I'll drop it in the chat. So let's train our model to detect masks. To train the model, the model must know what someone wearing a mask looks like and what someone not wearing a mask looks like. Wow. We could pass in images of people wearing masks and images of people not wearing masks, but instead build these images from our computer webcam. Uh, the most important code in assets slash train.html of each fully video application includes this code. After importing the ML5 JS library version 0.6.1 now for now, uh, and the body that's an H2 heading with the text, are you wearing a mask? Uh, results span displaying yes or no to answer that question. And the confidence span showing the model's confidence level of yes, there is a mask or no, there's not a mask. We have a video element used to both create new data and also predict whether or not a mask is being worn. These buttons with IDs no mask button and mask button will add new image data to the model, while the train button trains the model. Naming things can be hard sometimes, but the train button trains the model. And the predict button begins running the model on the video feed to predict if mask is detected. If you like the results of the model, if you think it's accurate, you can save the model to the assets folder by clicking the button that says save model to assets folder. Uh, in this new file, asset, assets.stream.js, this following code declares variables and accesses the DOM elements from the HTML file. It also defines the video element source as the computer video camera, and makes a feature extractor object from a mobile net model in ML5.js, which uses feature extraction feature extraction on images, among other ML tasks involving classification. The code calls the classification method of ML5.js on the feature extractor object, setting the input source of the classifier object as the video element, the video feed from your uh, web, computer webcam. This means that whatever appears on the camera acts as the input to the classifier. We also add buttons to train the model after the, the user adds images. Those train buttons train the model with the images added above from the video camera. Once training begins, the DOM displays the loss value in the loss span. The lower that value is, the greater the accuracy. Eventually, it decreases closer and closer to zero and the training process is finished and loss value becomes null. If the model is not very accurate, you may need to add more images to the model. Otherwise, you can save the model by clicking the save button, which calls feature extractor.save to save the model. And this is how we actually classify the image with our predict button and save model button. And this code is all on GitHub, which I will drop in the chat or organizers of circle states will drop in the chat. So the model will return a yes or no label in addition to the confidence level of the classification prediction to reflect how confident the model is having mask is in the video feed. The closer the number is to zero to one, the more sure, the more confident the model is. The classification method is called over and over in the back ground so that the model is constantly predicting if someone is wearing a mask or not. Constantly. Wow. So a model has been built and we have to use it in a different web page of the Twilio video application. We edit spans to reflect the no and yes mask labels and confidence levels and a button to detect mask wearing. We add a button to the Twilio video app so that when they, a person joins the room, the model is loaded model.json is the model saved. This code should look familiar from before when we were training the model, making the model. This calls the classify method on the video feed and displays confidence level regarding yes or no with a mask being worn. The only difference is that this is using the saved model that we already trained. And here is the finished piece. We're in a video application room using a trained model. Fairly accurate, not perfect, 
but if you wanted to be perfect, have more framing data. So in summary, what did we talk about? Uh, ML5 JS lets you detect poses, generate text, make music, perform image recognition, and you can train an ML5 JS model to detect other things, like if you're wearing a hat or holding a banana. I did try to train the model to detect if a mask was being worn incorrectly, like if it was showing my nose or had a hole in it, but the detection was not as accurate. It most likely needed more training data. Uh, we went over regression versus classification. Regression algorithms predict the continuous values, such as price, salary, and age. And classification algorithms predict or classify more discrete values, like male or female, true or false, spam or not spam, hot dog, not hot dog. And MobileNet lets us quickly create an image classifier. You will see MobileNet not just in ML5.js, but in other machine learning uh, tools, ecosystems, libraries like TensorFlow. Uh, here are some links to help you, like GitHub, repo, this blog post, and the promo code. I'm Lizzie. I'm a developer evangelist at Twilio. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great rest of the conference. Oh, yeah.